first thing that you want to do is go to views.com v-u-z-e and download it for windows you're going to do that um, you just scroll down click on it install it set it do the setup like you would anything else um, i'm going to speed through this setup real quick Um, when you get to this part, click, you know, I've read the agreement, blah, blah, blah. You agree, you're fine, move on to the next thing. Uh, this, uncheck this, you don't need it. So go to the top there, uncheck that, hit skip. And once you do that, it's going to start installing more. Okay, when you get to this part, we don't want this. Decline this. You don't want that either. Decline that. And now it's going to finish up. And now it's done. And it's open. Yay, you have views. This is your client. This is what actually is going to download the torrents. So you can, you know, watch whatever you want to watch. Next thing you want to do is go to piratebay.org. If you get to the Pirate Bay, you can now easily go in, type in you wanted Game of Thrones, right? So Game of Thrones Season 1. There you see Season 1, Season 2, Season 3. Um, so click on Season 1, scroll down through it. Normally you want to go and check and see if there's comments like this one there's not comments but there's a lot of cedars like 263 so it's probably pretty good if it doesn't have a lot of cedars and it doesn't have any comments you might not want to trust it but something like this is pretty legit so you're fine so click on that you'll go to launch application um, once you go to launch application it should open up the views, the thing that you just downloaded and installed. Um, and this is just, you know, you can click through here and see, you know, if you already saw one episode, you might not want to download it or something like that. But if you want everything, you know, it's fine. Just click OK and it will start to download it for you. Um, the next thing that I want you to do uh, is, you know, go through it, make sure it's actually connecting and stuff like that. And this will show you download speed, upload speed, and whatnot. Go to the bottom right corner and you want to reduce this. This is your upload speed, this is how much how fast people can down upload from you. You want this to be a low number. So go all the way to the top as it gives you, click on it. You're gonna have to do this a couple times. Um, so you know it's a right click. So right click on it, scroll up to as high as low a number as you can. Here it says eight, click on the eight. Okay. Scroll down, uh, sorry, right click again. And now it'll be three, click on three, right click again, and now you have one, click on one. That's the lowest you can go is one. Um, basically, you just don't, you'll be able to download things faster if people are uploading things slower. So that's the whole reason behind doing that. Um, so that's pretty much it for downloading. Now, once, if you decide you don't want it anymore, or you know, you need to stop it for a while, you can hit stop by right clicking on that and hit stop. And then if you want to delete it, you right click again, hit delete. Now this will pop up here. Now the difference is it'll say delete from computer or remove from library. If you remove from library, you're just deleting it from views. So it'll still be on your computer. If you delete it from computer, you're deleting it from your computer, from views, from everything. It's gone, it's in your recycling bin, that's it. Here's how you start the PS3 media server. Open up Google and type in PS3 media server. Uh, you can click on the first, probably the first link that shows up, and it'll take you to you know, the main page you want to go to. Here you can pick, you know, are you on Apple, or are you on a Mac, Windows, Linux. Uh, I'm on a Windows, so I'm going to click on the Windows. Uh, all you have to do here is go to the download button right there and click on that. And in a few seconds, it will start to download.
once it's done downloading, uh, just click on it and run the setup. Once the setup's open, click next, uh, read through it if you want, and then install. Uh, then you can click run or don't click on, click finish, whichever you want to do. Um, but once it's opened up, uh, what you have to do now is set up what folder um, it's going to go into. Um, if this pops up, the Windows firewall thing, just you know, click allow. It's fine, trust me. Um, that should make it connected. Obviously, you'll need. It might not say connected if your PlayStation 3 isn't turned on. So make sure your PlayStation's on before you freak out by seeing a big red X. Anyway, you want to go to navigation, share settings. Um, when you're in there, scroll down to the bottom, and it's going to give you a spot where you're going to add your share folders. So you want to go to the views. You want to click on the add button and the bottom there says views downloads that's the one you want to click on and just click on that open it hit ok hit open and now it'll show up in the box here in the ps3 media server and that's what you want um, if you have other files just go through a search and find other files uh, if you want to add your music to it or your other videos that you might have uh, my suggestion is any videos you have just have them sent to that one views download folder um, because you know that's where anything you download from views is going to show up there and you know if you happen to have other videos you want just put it all in one file so it just makes it easier for you know the media server thing you're just opening one file to try to find what you want to watch instead of looking through other folders and that's pretty much it and now you have your ps3 media server all set up and running and you're ready to go and that's it